today, you will need some props. So as you can see, I have a blanket here. It's not necessary, but it's definitely helpful for the pose that we'll be doing. Have a strap handy that is going to be necessary. And then a block will come in handy for some of you. So we're gonna start in child's pose. Come to your knees, toes together, knees wide, sink your hips back and let your forehead rest here. So you can prop yourself up with supports under your chest if you can't get all the way back or props on top of your calf muscles. And let's just get grounded in our bodies. So just take a few moments to check in with yourself. How are you feeling in this moment? What's going on with your body? What's going on with your mind? You're here, you chose to be on your mat today. So check in with that information as well. You're doing something to better yourself. So let's bring our awareness to our breathing. Let all of that other stuff go. And just focus on the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. Feeling the belly expanding, feeling the belly contracting. Relax the shoulders, make sure the head is heavy here so there's no tension in the neck. And even breaths in through the nostrils, out through the nostrils. Soften the brow, soften the space between and behind your eyes. Start to gaze into that space. And look into your heart center. So drop your gaze down into the heart, center of the chest. Rest your attention here. And allow your intention for your practice to come to you. And once you've found your attention, just reach your arms up over your head. Take a deep stretch here. Push into the mat. Push your hips back as far as you can. Squeeze the elbows down a little bit. Hug into the armpits and just stretch it out. So we're spreading our shoulder blades out. So just basically moving into an active child's pose. Scoop your front deep belly muscles in. And let's come up onto the hands and knees. Take the knees onto your support if you're using it, and we're going to come into our frog pose. So take your knees wide apart and have your knees and hips in line with each other. And we're just going to walk our hands forward a little bit. So scoop the belly up. Instead of collapsing here, scoop the belly up. And if you have the space, come down onto your forearms. So if this is intense for you, right? Tight groins, this is just really difficult. You can start with your toes together and the knees closer. If you have more space, those shins widen and the hips start to, the pelvis starts to drop down a little bit more. And this is just an intense pose to begin with. So we're going to just rock ourselves a little bit here. So sink the hips back, keep scooping your front ribs in, and then bring your uh, torso up towards the top of your mat, right? So just up and down, sink the hips back. Slow motion here. Inner arches of the feet touching the mat if you have that access. And back. Keep the belly scooping up to the sky as you rock back and forth here. And sink it back. And then come into that spot right in the middle. And just let the pelvis drop down. Breath is steady here. If you find more space, those knees go a little bit wider apart. And you can kind of play with, since we just did this up and down thing, right? You can kind of play with where is it that you feel the deepest opening, right? Where it's the most intense, really. <laughs> and you're going to go into that space. So see if you can find that. Go a little bit deeper, soften. So the body's going to want to resist. See if you can soften a little bit. Even breaths. And just one more breath here. If we were in our yin class, we'd take a lot longer, but 
We're not lucky for you. So let's come up onto the palms, walk the knees together a little bit, press back into child's pose once again. Take the arms along the side of the body. Let the forehead rest on your support or your mat. Take a deep breath here. And reach the arms up over the head. Come back to the hands and knees. We're gonna take the right knee in front and walk your foot wide and then take the left knee behind. And if you're tight in your hips, you're gonna do this from seated. Stack a bunch of props underneath you to sit down on, right? So basically it looks like this, legs out in front, right leg on top, left leg underneath. Or that bottom leg stays straight. So even at your sitting bones, if you can feel that imbalance, right? Maybe one hip is under you a little bit more. And we've got the right leg on top, left hand to the left shoulder and either hold your elbow and draw the arms back or find your mind behind you. This is where a strap can come in handy as well if you'd like to do that. Start to pitch forward a little bit. Keep your hips grounded, especially that right one. Try not to let it pop up. As you draw yourself forward, don't let your head lead the way. Draw your chin and let your heart lead the way. So draw the elbows back. Keep grounding through that right hip. And then let's bring it back to center. We're gonna keep that left hand on the shoulder. The, if you're taking the bind behind your back, release that hand and take your right hand to your elbow. So right hand to the left elbow. And we're just gonna get a little side body stretch here. So press the left hip down as you tilt over to the right, draw that elbow behind you. If you have the space to do that, kind of hug it in. So your triceps start to turn forward, right? They're not turning out to the left. And, but the left side of the body is pushing away, the left torso and breathe. Get that nice opening through the side of your body. Deep belly's active, side belly's active. Actually, you're, fold, you're folding over to the side here. You don't want to completely collapse. Push that hip down and bring yourself back to center. Let's take a twist to the right. Spin the right ribs back. Ground your left hip as you turn and bring it back to center. Release. Let's go the other way. Left on top of right and right underneath or straight. Maybe those shins move forward a little bit. If you have a little more space, that left hip is grounding, right hand to the shoulder. And either here or here, right? Hands behind the back or hand to the elbow. Draw that elbow back, draw your chin in, start to come forward. Keep that left hip from bumping up. Breathe. So whenever you're finding resistance in your body, bring your focus there and see if you can soften and say to your body, it's okay, I'm not trying to hurt you. Take a couple more deep breaths here, draw that elbow back. And let's take that left hand to the elbow if it's not already. Start to lean over to the left as you press the right side away from you. Hug that arm in, push the right hip down. Breathe into the side of your body. And bring it back to center. Let's make our way into our twist. Turn to the left, ground that right hip. Lift yourself with that back hand, nice and tall. I got an adjustment on both sides. That rarely happens. Come back to center, both legs out in front. Shake it out. Good. So let's make our way onto our hands and knees. Into tabletop position. We'll roll through a couple of cats and cows here. Inhale, drop the belly, heart opens. Around through the spine, spread the shoulder blades out. Let the head get heavy. Inhale, lift the heart center. Exhale, round it out. A couple more like this, inhale. Move through your spine, the whole back. Round it out, lift as high as you can here and open the heart as much as you can. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Exhale, 
Inhale, come back to your knees, cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, downward. Draw those elbows back. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, cow pose. And back. And heart opens on the cow. And press it back. Straighten those legs. If you have the space, inhale your cow. Scoop the belly up. Use your legs downward. Cow pose. Just a few more like this. Exhale. Inhaling on the cow. Exhale downward. And inhale. Exhale. One more of each. Inhale, cow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Push your hips back. Stretch it out. And we come forward into our plank pose. So bring yourself forward. If you need to, you're doing this on your knees. I forgot to look at the time, so I'll add a few seconds, or I'll take off a few seconds. And press into your mat. So fingers spread wide. Ground through the hands and ground through the feet. Spread those toes underneath you. Open your heart. Lift your gaze. Scoop that navel up to the sky. Get into your butt muscles. Lift those glutes up. Use your thighs. Lift up the kneecaps. Hug the elbows back. Squeeze into your armpits. Smile with your collarbone. Spread your back. Gaze is just ahead of you. Feel your power in this pose. Everything is engaged, you're strong. Smile, because it feels great to be in plank pose. <laughs> Hopefully it is becoming a fun challenge for you. So let's see, where are we? We're going to step the right foot out, press it out and hug that thigh in and step it back. And then step the left foot out. And you're pushing with the outer hip. Right, push out, hug and squeeze the inner thigh. Out to the side, squeeze into the center. Keep lifting so you don't drop your hips, scooping that navel up, press out and step in. Breathe. Pressing the outer part of your leg as you step it out, squeezing the inner thigh as you step it in. Breath is steady here. Keep pulling those palms back, opening the heart. Keep checking your center. Step it out. And then just a few more like this. And in, open it, close it. And one more on each side. Squeeze into the center. And in, down dog. Nice work. Press it back, bend to the knees, hips back, nice long spine, head drops. Straighten your legs if you have the space. Look at your feet, spread your toes. Let's come to the knees, gate pose. Hands to the waist. I'll turn this way so you can see what we're doing. Right foot out to the side. You can tuck those back toes under. We're gonna go both ways. So we're gonna take the hands, the right hand down the leg and reach that left arm up and over. Reach through the left side of your body. Spin the left ribs open. If you can hear all that noise in the background, it's garbage day. <laughs> so it's pretty noisy out there right now. And hand back to the waist, other way, right? So you could either be here, place your hand on a block, right? If you have one or come to the mat and reach. Roll the shoulders back, gaze up to those fingertips. Strong center, hands back to the waist. Let's switch sides. Left foot out to the side. Left fingers down and reach that right arm up. Opening the right side. So we're not turning to that leg. We're opening to the side. Reaching through the right side. Roll the left shoulder back. Get as far over as you can and go the other way. Reach through the left side of the body. Hand to the mat or a block or your waist and reach. And let's bring ourselves back, strong center, hands back to the waist, 
back to your knees, downward facing dog, up and back. Right foot floats to the top of the mat. We're gonna step ourselves sideways. So turn yourself sideways, feet parallel to the short side of your mat, in line with each other, let your head drop, or hands on a block or support. So we're just gonna hang out here for a few breaths. Lift up those kneecaps, use your thighs, hugging into the center, right? Ground through the outside of your legs here. So all four corners of the feet are pushing into the mat, press into the outer ankle, lift those arches, right? Head is heavy, we're just letting ourselves fold. Bring your torso forward a little bit. So just kind of lean forward and then let yourself drop a little bit more. Tailbone up to the sky if you have that space. Belly strong. If that starts to bug your back, then you probably need to come up a little higher and maybe even bend your knees, right? So find what your body needs. We're going to place our right hand either on the block or the center of the mat and twist to the left. Spin it up. Roll the shoulder back on both arms and then pull the left hand behind your back. Spin it around. Lift the left side of your body up. Inhale, float the left arm up, left hand down to the center of the mat, spin the right arm up, right hand behind the back, right ribs float up, both shoulders roll back. Reach that arm up to the sky, both hands down to the mat, inhale, half forward fold, so come into a flat back, exhale, full fold. Let everything drop, hands to the waist, lead with your heart, rise up to standing. Take a breath, your hands stay on the waist, and we fold again, we're gonna take a yogi toe walk. So index and middle finger on the inside of the big toe, thumb on the outside, roll the shoulders away from the ears, crown of the head drops. And if you're tight here, knees are bent. And if your knees are bent and you still can't reach your toes, then just rest on your thighs or use your support. The same thing we just did. So shoulders away from the ears, crown of the head down. Again, bring your weight forward a little bit. Tailbone up to the sky, belly in. Think about drawing your torso and your thighs in towards each other, coming into the middle. One more breath here. Take the hands to the waist and slowly start to rise up. Let's take a vinyasa, step to the top of your mat, step back into plank pose, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open into your back bend, heart opens. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Let's come to the knees. This is where your strap is going to help you. And maybe some blankets. Take a wide angle seated position here. Rock your seat out from underneath you. And if you're rounded, Props underneath your seat. Have your strap handy. We'll start without it, but we'll grab onto it in a sec. So press your pelvis forward. Lift yourself tall here. Get active throughout the legs. So spread your toes. Press those thighs into the back of the mat. Lift yourself tall here. Let's flip the arms up. Get strong in your center. And we're going to start to come forward without those legs rolling in. Strong core. Reach, feel as if someone's drawing you upwards with your palms, supporting you. Think of somebody assisting you in the pose right now. So come as far forward as you can with a flat back. It may not be that far at all. Just hold it, right? Even, even if you have to just be in the middle. Stay active. And then we're gonna just take our fold here. So let yourself drop. However far forward you have the space for, let the head get heavy. Stay active throughout the legs. Feel that release in the back of the legs. Can you find the balance between being active in the pose and actually softening instead of trying to force something open, especially your body. You don't want to force your body open. Be kinder to your body. Take a little walk over to the right. So hand over hand and just kind of draw those left ribs down. Pull the right ribs back. Let your head drop here. Make sure your left hip doesn't bump up. So keep that grounded. And 
Now let's walk it back to the center, over to the left. Spin those right ribs down, left ribs back, and fold over this left leg. Great, right hip stays grounded. And walk it back to center. Take another couple breaths here. And slowly rise up, walk it in. We're gonna take our strap, stay in this wide legged seat position and place the strap around the right foot. Take your left hand and walk it as far down the strap as you can. Right hand stays on the mat. And we're gonna lift that elbow up to the sky. So only release some of the strap to get the left side of the body open. If you're pitched forward like this, then you need to let go and lift up. If you find more space, right hand holds on to the straps and then left hand walks down a little bit more and we spin those ribs open, right? And for those of you that have the space, of course, you can take a yogi toe lock, a reverse toe lock here and pull those left ribs up, breathe. Nice opening through the left side of the body. And bring yourself back to center. Let's go the other way. Strap on the left foot. Right hand walks down, left hand in front of you, elbow up to the sky, and start to spin the left side of the body open. Look under the arm. If you have more space, you hold the strap, you walk it down. And again, yogi toe lock for some of you. Staying uh, active throughout the legs here. One more breath. And bring it back up. Bring the legs out in front, shake it out. And even out your sitting bones, we're gonna take the right foot, keep the right leg forward actually, we'll take the left knee and take your calf muscle, split your calf muscle and scoop that shin underneath you, right? You can sit on props here if you're tight, if you can get into it, but not quite sit on some props, a little prop underneath the extended leg, right? This right leg. If this isn't happening, just take your foot in, would you? Janushashana, <laughs> even out your, your seat. So either you're using your strap underneath your foot, I'll just show you since it's sitting here, like such, or you're taking a hold of your foot. Draw that right sitting bone back, chest is forward. Let's take a flat back here first and start to open up the chest. And then let yourself fold, let the head drop. Keep squeezing that right hip into the body. Getting into the back of the legs. Inhale, rise into a flat back. Come back up, release your left leg. And let's make our way to the right side. If you're taking the leg under, just split that calf as it come up, comes underneath you even out your sitting bones, or again, foot into the inner thigh. Wrap your strap, fold forward here, flat back, lead with your heart. Breathe, spread the toes. Just make sure that you're not spinning to the right. Right ribs are facing this direction. You're tracking right over this leg. And let's let the head drop. Squeeze that left hip back into your body. Press down into the back of the thigh. Be mindful of the back of the knee. If it's pulling too much, just have a little rolled up towel there, or a little bend to the knee. And rise up, flat back. And release both legs out in front. Shake it out. Let's take the right foot up and over to the outside of the left leg. And if you have the space, heel towards the buttock. Even yourself out, float the arms up and hug that knee in, spin to the right or hook your arm and draw those right ribs back. Ground your left hip down, take a deep breath, push into the mat with that back hand and spin back. Keep your pelvis in a neutral position. It's not turning with you. 
Come back to center. Really. So from here, that's not moving, right? A little higher. And left foot up and over, right foot towards the opposite hip. And let's float over to the left or hook that arm and lift yourself tall. Left hand presses into the mat. We rise up and spin around. Ground that opposite hip. Breathe into the twist. And come back to center. Shavasana. Hopefully you feel a little bit longer. A little more space in your body. Release. A little taller. So it's helpful for us challenged with height people so place a blanket under your knees in the back of your head if you need to once you're in your shavasana close your eyes let everything drop open let go of your breathing if you're controlling your breath still and just feel your body feel all of that space you created feel the lightness that happens with that there's a letting go, a physical letting go when we create that space. See if you can connect with that information. And of course, always a deeper letting go. So let's drop our gaze into our third eye space. Start to look deep within yourself. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Gently start to reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head. Nice full body stretch, fingertips to toes. And draw the knees into the chest, rock gently back and forth. Make your way to your side into fetus position. And press up to seat it, sit nice and tall. Roll the shoulders up and back, eyes are still closed, rest your palms down on your thighs. And just be aware of your breath. The flow of the breath in and out through the nostrils, the cycle, the rhythm of your breath. The sensations, the feeling of your breath. Be present with that just for another few moments. Let's bring the palms to prayer. So all of the work you just did in between your hands, press your thumbs into your sternum. Draw the chin in and bow the head forward and bow down to your ability to heal, to heal your body, to heal your mind, your heart, your spirit. And bow down to your heart, 
where that healing comes from. Go down to your light. Recognize and honor that space within all beings. And let us send a collective prayer of peace from our hearts. May all beings experience peace. Express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what today's angels have to say. Number one. Integrity. Number two. Simplicity. Number three. Adventure. Love it. Have a fabulous day. I will see you back here tomorrow for more. Ciao.